Cari luoghi, io vi trovai, cari luoghi, io vi trovai. Hey everyone, Adam here and I am back with a brand new reaction for the channel. This is somebody I have never checked out on the channel before, but obviously I am aware of the existence of the incredible Mona Exchange. I watch Drag Race, however, I have never heard her sing before. I've been catching up on Drag Race, I'm a little bit behind, I've watched her season, but I haven't seen All Stars, I haven't seen anything of her sing before, but I cannot wait to hear this. This actually came from my partner who suggested that I check her out singing, and I have heard that she is classically trained, so I am super pumped to hear this. My dad is actually a classically trained opera singer, and I hear that Monet Exchange is classically trained opera singer. So here we go guys, this is the incredible Mona Exchange covering the beautiful Italian classic Vira Viso O Loghe Ameni. I cannot wait to hear this. Oh, I don't even know what her voice sounds like when she sings. Let's just dive straight in. Super pumped for this. Oh, let's go. Vira Viso O Loghe Ameni This. Let's go. Tranquilo, I ti passai della prima, della prima gioventù. Cari luoghi, io vi God. Cari luoghi, io vi trovai, cari luoghi, io vi trovai, ma quel di non trovo più, cari luoghi, io vi trovai, ma quel di non trovo più. Non trovo più. Girl. That is how we do it. That is how we put the class in classical. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. God, that was beautiful. That was just a spiritual experience. That was magic. Oh my God, Monet. Wow. I'm just, I'm just digesting all of that right now. That was just a meal for the ears. Oh my God. Start to finish, that was perfection. Absolute perfection from the very moment I heard that first note, I just knew this was going to be magic, and it was. Wow, she delivered. That was just, that was class. That was world class, in fact. That was perfection. Oh my God. Wow. I could just listen to that again and again and again. That was beauty. That was elegance. That was just essence. God, that classical essence was just there. 
pure richness, the texture and timbre that she has in that voice is just beauty. Such a powerful bass as well, and that wasn't even her pushing everything in that power of that bass. It was just so well controlled. And I think that's the standout in this entire performance here is the control that she has in her voice. It was just beautiful. That for me was, that was the main thing I enjoyed hearing the most was that control, how she held her voice all the way through that performance was just excellent. That was the skill. And that is the skill in a lot of classical singing is the way that the singer is able to control the voice but still manage to show the skill in the voice. That's the skill in being able to display how much passion, how much power, how much vocal capability, how much technical capability they have in that voice but still controlling that. That's the skill in classical singing and it's just beautiful. When they when they go off, they go off, but when they rein it back, they rein it back. But when they keep the momentum going while still keeping it reined, but then letting it go and bringing it back, beautiful. It's just gorgeous. And when we had that beautiful run there, when we were kind of going up the octaves and then coming back down, going on that little journey with the notes and then going down, oh my God, that was absolutely stunning right at the end there. That is classic opera singing there. And you have to have the classic technical ability in classical singing to do that. That is the training which Monet has right there. That is hours of training right there. The training and understanding of her voice to do that, to understand the technical capability in order to do that. That moment right there, that isn't just a little throwaway moment, that is the moment. And to be able to do that with her voice is impeccable. That's like world-class skills right there. Oh my God. God, just so beautiful. And I love all of the little classic moments that we hear in the pronunciation, the rolling of the R's, the way that she kind of rounds her vowels throughout that entire performance, the way that she, when you listen to classical singing, the way that she approaches every single note, you know, she doesn't just kind of leap into the note. It's careful approaching the notes and it's absolutely beautiful. It's very, very careful. And if you listen back to every time she stops and then starts again, it's not just kind of, sometimes when you listen to kind of pop songs or anything like that, sometimes you hear singers and they might start, they might start on a particular type of note. It takes them a little bit to actually reach the note. But here, every time it was right on the money, straight into that correct note, it was beautiful. It was so careful on the approach, it was gorgeous. Almost like rounding of the beginning of that note, it was beautiful. And Monet was able to do that instantly. And that is her skill. That was hours of training. Everything they could hear there was just absolutely gorgeous. The pronunciation was just spot on absolutely beautiful. Again, as I said, the rolling of those R's was amazing. But what I have to give her credit for, and this is something that I hear in classical music all of the time, it's my absolute favorite thing in the entire world when it comes to classical music. And when this is off, you really do hear it. And for me, it hits the ear wrong. And this is not the case here because it was perfect. And that is vibrato. When vibrato is off, it can sound really goaty, and there's certain people I could drag through the dirt, which I won't do here, which when I hear it, I think, ooh, that sounds really off. There's no control there. It sounds a little bit goaty. And that's when it's done wrong, and vibrato can go really quick, and there's no control there. It just sounds really off. But when it's done properly, when it supports the note, when it ends the note really nicely, and when it's held really beautifully, it really complements the voice and complements the note. That's exactly what we had here. You wanna hear vibrato done correctly in classical singing? Listen to this, listen to it again, and take note, because this is how you do it. This was stunning, absolutely stunning, all of the way through, especially at the ending there. That was beautiful. It went from a powerful vibrato to a soft vibrato. Just beautiful rounding of the ending there. Just beautifully left us there just wanting more. It was stunning. Absolutely stunning. All the way through the performance. Even right at the beginning of the performance. That was like a taste of what was to come. And then just all the way through, but especially at the ending there. That was absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I could have just come back for more. It was amazing. That deep timbre, that texture within Monet's voice is just beautiful. It was perfectly suited for this song. 
I need to hear an entire opera sung by Monet. I need that in my life immediately because this was a taste of what needs to come. I need to hear more. This was flawless and I need more in my life immediately. Wow, wow, wow. Mind blow. You know that emoji where it's like the head is exploding? That's me right now. This was incredible. So I want to say a big thank you to my partner and everybody else who made me aware of this existing in my life. This is amazing. I cannot get over how incredible of a singer Monet Exchange is. This is phenomenal. But what did you think of Monet Exchange and her incredible classical singing talent? You know what to do by now. Please leave me your comments down below with your thoughts and if you have any other suggestions by Monet herself or any other drag queens that are able to sing and perform in this incredible way, please leave those suggestions down below. As you know, I read every single comment. I reply to as many as I possibly can and I always appreciate when you guys take the time to comment. So thank you so much. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please come and subscribe to the channel if you don't already and make sure you hit that bell icon as well. It's the fastest way to get new notifications when a brand new video like this drops. All of my social media is just up here. All of my links are just down below. If you do want to follow me on Patreon, all of the details for that are just down below. The link is down below. I do monthly check-ins. This video did go live on Patreon before anywhere else. I do have a few extra goodies on there and other stuff on there. So for all of the details about Patreon, the link and the details are just down below. So thank you again, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this as much as what I did. And until next time, take care.